Hi everyone, so this is a little Photo Friday snippet. This is a little project that I've had in mind for quite a while now and uh, I've taken advantage of the uh, Photo Lab's ability to print various 5 inch wide prints. That is prints on 5 inch wide paper at uh, different lengths. So you got 5, 3 and a half, 5 by 4, 5 by 5 square images, 5 by 7 and 5 by 7 and a half. Um, so what I've done, I've printed a, a selection of photographs from the Longcon 3 convention and uh, I've put them together into, well, have a look. So this is a little project I've had in mind for quite a while now. I made this little jig for the purpose. What we have here are two scrap bits of frame, uh, frame moulding. Uh, I got them from a local framer and uh, this is a piece of backboard and uh, I asked them to cut it for me to be just about five inch wide. Uh, I'll show why in a minute. Uh, the project is involving prints and uh, so let's have a look at the prints. So what I have here are a set of prints from Lancome 3 convention. Uh, these are five by three and a half, five by four, uh, five by five inch square. These are more than five inch. They're actually panoramic images, but because the printer only prints up to maximum five by seven and a half, I cropped them so they got two pictures and stuck them together to make one long image, stuck them together such as that. Uh, again with this one here. So the whole thing was to make a, a, a long ribbon, if you like, of photographs, five inch wide by as long as I could get away with. And uh, not having a roll of paper five inch wide that could print one huge long panorama as long as I wanted. I uh, thought I'd have a go at this. So, so that's the, uh, so this is essentially a little jig sort of thing I had made for it. I glued the frame mouldings onto the uh, backboard. Just a bit of a ordinary wood glue. You can get it from your local hardware store or supermarket, PVA glue I think it is, and uh, so I just slashed it on in the corners there and let it dry over a couple of days and uh, so let's have a go stick it together. So I have the, print, uh, the prints, the jig and some sellotape. As this is just a little experiment I'm just going to put it, put this thing together and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is to stick this photograph together at random and uh, see what we get. So I'll start with the uh, panoramic image of this uh, panel. So the idea is put it in there like that, find another picture that can go with it. I usually try to put a picture that isn't entirely related so we'll go with the uh, space probe photograph. Let's move this side. So put them together like that and stick them together. Only I'm putting the tape on the back so so that's the way to do it. Make sure that they are flat against at least one side of the uh, moulding. Give it tape. And here we go. straight but it'll do for now as I said this is really just an experiment so uh, I'll keep on doing this and then we'll see what we get how many pictures are stuck together but uh, let's see what we've got shall we I rolled it up as I was going on so, so basically let's unroll it let's keep some going shall we so it's quite long uh, that's it that's 
one end Keep going and going to the living room Got up all the coffee table up there onto the couch and that's it so I uh, tried to measure it with the tape measure across the floor and it's uh, 23 feet long just over 23 feet long about three and a half meters six and a half meters and five inches wide so I doubt I'll be able to get a frame for that not that I'd ever bother getting that thing framed but uh, yeah that's a little project it's something for you to try at home if you've got uh, lots of pictures of something well that's it from this little uh, photo Friday snippet um, Tune in next time when I'll have something probably different, but again, photography related. See you next time.